Welcome to Veterinary Medicine in the state of Massachusetts. On behalf of the Massachusetts Veterinary Medical Association, we invite you into our world. I am Dr. Monica Mansfield, and I am a small animal practitioner in Medway, Massachusetts. During this program, we will give you a glimpse into the field of veterinary medicine by bringing you to the workplace of veterinarians of many types, including large animal doctors, specialty doctors, pathologists, public health doctors, and veterinary educators. It's a dedicated group of professionals committed to the care of animals' health and public health. We love what we do. What would a day be without animals? We will first bring you to a small animal practice, the Medway Animal Hospital, where Dr. Merrill Cardin will teach us about a typical day as a dog and cat doctor. My job as a small animal veterinarian is very varied and it consists of lots of different things, which is why I think it's so much fun. When an animal is not feeling well, the owners usually bring them in for the vets to look at it, and that's where we become sort of the pet detectives. We have to listen to their heart, take their temperature, ask a whole bunch of questions about whether or not they have vomiting, diarrhea, itchy skin, whether they seem painful in any way. We perform various tests, blood tests, x-rays, and all kinds of diagnostics to try to figure out what's wrong with them since they can't talk to us and tell us. We also perform wellness examinations. Now those are examinations that the owners usually do yearly and we look at dogs and cats, adult and puppies and kittens, and we look at their eyes, their ears, their nose, their mouth, listen to their heart, make sure their body condition is okay. And also a big part of that is to educate the clients. Now the way we educate the animal owners is we tell them all about the different things they have to watch for in their animals. They have to watch for ectoparasites like fleas and ticks, endoparasites like worms, and all kinds of problems such as vomiting and diarrhea. The third part of my job consists of doing surgery and I do a lot of spays and neuters and all kinds of other procedures such as taking out bladder stones, taking off growths, tumors off of animals, and we also do a lot of dental care and we do dentals while the animal is asleep because they can't be awake during, during that particular process. I think they would, they would be too scared. Sometimes pets will come in and they are very, very sick or they've gotten into an accident. They might have fallen or gotten hit by a car. And when that happens, my day becomes very, very hectic. We have to figure out very quickly what's wrong and give the animal the urgent care that they need. What's unique with our practice is that we are focused on the entirety of animals and the context within which animals exist within family settings. I like to remind clients that the care of a pet on the part of a child is one of the most important learning tools that a parent has to have a child become somewhat other-centered, to be somewhat nurturing, nurturing in nature, and to recognize within themselves that um, we're part of an interwoven cycle of life and uh, our relationship with with an animal is oftentimes the, at the foundation of that, uh, that coming into fruition. I have been a small animal practitioner for over 30 years and I still love every day that I come to work and I love taking care of the animals. Um, I love the people and helping them with their, their problems with the animals and I love not knowing what I'm going to do each day. I wake up in the morning and I know that I'm going to be with animals and with the people that love them but beyond that, I have not a clue, and that's very exciting. 